Okay, good morning guys from Shanghai. And today is the day we're going to do the border crossing into Lao. And I've never normally done it like this, but I'm going to try and come back in the same day as well. So what we're going to do, we're going to spend the day in Lao, hopefully, and then come back to Thailand. I'm going to give you a quick room tour because I think it's a really nice place in the center of Shanghai for only $10. And what surprised me about this place, you got breakfast as well. So when you come in the door here, you've got the bathroom nice spacious bathroom very clean this is what i liked about this room for ten dollars normally the room's not too clean but this room's very clean spacious bright you got the little table and chairs with the mirror you've got aircon up there too a nice big bed bit of a clothes rack and when you open the curtains you've got a view of like some people's houses and stuff but it's very nice for the price this place so this is where i've been chilling the last two nights i want to get to the border early get everything done spend the day there in lao have a good time and try and head back so let's go this is the area where they normally have breakfast some teas coffees they normally put out the breads there and they actually bring you some like omelets with some salad some fruit Right guys, I'm just outside my guest house now, very early in the morning, and if you're in Thailand, you have to have the Grab app, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to book a motorbike, we're going to go to the bus terminal, and hopefully get the bus to Shang Kong to the Lao border. Look, there's many guest houses around Shanghai actually, this is more like traditional style house, Banjaru, and this is the place where I've been staying, the tourist inn really nice location because you've got the temple just here and further down this road you've got like all the main bars and restaurants and the clock tower so we're pretty much in the center of Shanghai so check it out now to get a motorbike to the bus station 27 baht so let's book it and go so this is how the grab app works you can see the motorbike coming down now just past the temple and I can see the guy coming here now so it's actually not far to the bus terminal, so let's go. Morning. Morning. Oh. Okay. okay. So this guy's obviously like a grab delivery driver as well, because my bag's in the back there where the food normally goes. So let's go to the bus terminal. Okay guys, so he's just dropped me outside the bus terminal, check it out. They've got a few of those electric scooters out the front of there and I can see the old buses in the back. So I'm going to go and try and find the bus to Shang Kong, but I just want to say, look how quiet Shanghai is guys. It's only a small city, but it's early in the morning, but pretty much everything's closed. But you do have a 7-Eleven opposite the bus station, so you can get some supplies. So let's go and try and find this bus to Shang Kong. I think it costs about 60 to 80 baht. We've got those scooters. Oh, they've got a little shop there with coffee too. Pretty quiet, the bus station as well. Okay, Shanghai to Shang Kong border. Takes two hours, price 70 baht. What time does it go? 7.30. Okay guys, so this is the bus to Lao, it seems like mainly local people on it now, but check it out, pretty old bus, so let's get on and grab a seat. Okay guys, so this is the, we're recording, yes, this is the bus to the border of Lao. Quite a few seats, I've just come in the back corner here because I've got a place to put my bag, a little window. And they've got the fan up there too. So you can see all the people travel with the big bags, taking stuff back to Lao, obviously from Thailand. And yeah, we just gotta wait for the bus to fill up now and then we'll get going. 70 baht, I did not pay for the ticket yet, I guess. I don't know, we will pay. Someone will come around and collect money, no doubt. But if not, nice. Recommend probably just getting up early and getting the first bus. Then you get to spend the day in Lao. 
it's a, it's pretty good at the back as well to leave the door open so you get some air. Okay guys, a few hours on the bus and it actually drove us down to the where the departure for Thailand is. So the bus is just parked over there and now I'm not going to be able to film in here, I'll try but we'll see. So I'm going to go through there and we'll cross and then go into Laos, so let's do this. I cannot remember how much it cost, like $30 or something. Okay guys, it was literally a good time to come. I'm happy I went this morning because I got off the bus, no one was in immigration, just gave my passport, they stamped me out, and when you go through then, there's a woman shouting to buy a bus ticket for 20 baht from border to border. So then we're gonna be going on this bus across the Thai Lao Friendship Bridge, and then we'll have to do the whole visa process to get into Lao, so let's see what's, how it's gonna go. on the other bus now to visa on arrival um, you go to the window the forms are there you fill out the two forms you have to pay in like administration fee of 40 baht and then they pass it on to the next window and I just wait for the passport back and I'm guessing I will have to pay there not quite sure the amount yet I will see when I get it but he stamped my passport already on the first window so it's pretty easy like I'm the only one here there's two other foreigners here only so very quiet and very easy this time not busy at all okay guys I'm through I got through in like record time actually it took me about five minutes I quickly filled out the form they passed it along they stamped my passport and gave you like a little slip with a QR code on and then you literally just like walk straight through and then you will see another counter where you have to give the ticket and pay the $40 it costs $40 for 30 days and then paid that now I've come out and just have to hop in one of these little tuk-tuk van things and go to Hawaii and then we'll be in Lao well we're in Lao now technically but this is going to take us to the border town Hawaii so yeah just got to wait for a few more people to come the only problem is guys they've got these little vans outside but because it's so quiet I'm like the only one here, so I asked the guy and he's like 400 baht to the city. I'm not sure before, I did it before, I'm not sure how many kilometers it is, but I'm just going to wait for the other two foreigners to come and uh, I think I saw another two, so hopefully they're going the same way and then he said it's like 100 baht a person. That's what I hate about these uh, border crossings, you have no choice sometimes, right? You just have to pay the money. I'm here in Hueze, finally arrived. I'm totally winging it today. I've had a bit of an eventful day. Um, quick story, there was two Dutch guys I met at the border and the ATMs weren't working and they could not pay for the visa. So I paid the visa for them and they've just took me to the bank there to give me back the money. It was nice, I could help them out uh, because the border staff were telling them they had to go back to Thailand to get money because the ATM machines at the border crossing were not working which is a bit of a disaster so now I think I'm gonna stay in this place Udom phone guest house 2 when I got off she told me a room was like 300 baht so this is where we're gonna stay it's actually on booking.com too so let's go okay for me for one I can pay you in kip actually. Yes, in kip is a 180,000 kip, in baht is a 300 baht. Okay. Where you go tomorrow? Back to Thailand. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's I just do visa. visa, yeah. <laughs> okay. Is there anywhere good to go here? Uh, if you want to see the temple, it's just walk this way about 5 minutes and it's going to have a way to go up. That's upstairs, right? Yes, I think if you want to see the slow boat pier. Yeah. 
just stay on this way and you can go down to the, this one yeah. and stay on yeah. and uh, if a big load stay on this way and go down the same okay. this have two ways okay. and another one is uh, a little far from here we have to go by the group okay. if the night market is a uh, 15 minutes from here uh, it will start at around 5 or 6 o'clock but if you want to see the liver and food it's okay but not many things okay the night market's busy or so so not, not, not really not, not quiet really. now right yeah. yeah okay fair enough i sent for you did you yeah oh my god i'm not even concentrating yeah. thank you are you staying here too yeah, I guess probably so. uh, this is like the best one <laughs> i was just walking down the road with this telling them my story about you guys uh, there you go okay I'll thank go you Huh? I'll get through the <laughs> I wish. I'll, I'll give you back the money if it does. <laughs> where, where do I have to go? Well, Upstairs. Outside. All right. Outside. And outside? Outside. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Let's check out what this room looks like. Upstairs and outside. Let me just check. She was telling me a lot of information there. I'm in room 202. Room 202. 201. 202. All right, not bad. So, this is what the room's looking like, guys. Got a nice chair. Big enough bed, it's clean, it's got the fan, it's got aircon. Where's the view? Not much of a view, but it's okay. It only costs like, what's that, $8 a night or $10 a night? Bathroom, oh, the bathroom's big enough. It's all right, it's got a shower, it's got a toilet, it's got a bomb gun, it's got a sink. We, you know over here, we're not too fussy, so, here I am in Hueze, that was pretty much the border crossing. The, the guys, it's funny, the guys um, who are met at the border are staying here too. So I'll see you on the next video. I'll make a little video around like this area where I'm staying. I'm only staying today and then back to Thailand. So see you on the next video, ciao.